got a sneak peek yesterday, actually on an IMAX screen, which was very cool. It was only the first six minutes with kind of a little cameo by Catwoman and a little cameo by Batman just kind of flashing on the screen. Um, Christopher Nolan introduced it and it was quite funny because he was joking with the audience, you know, the only reason I brought you here, you may want to see the film, I want to talk to you about the technology. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> works, so, for, works for everybody. He used a uh, 70 millimeter film, which is the IMAX technology film, to shoot certain scenes in this film. He did the same thing with The Dark Knight, but did it more so on mm -hmm. The Dark Knight Rises. And he's, you know, in this day and age of 3D, sure. he's far more about kind of the larger than life. He himself said, you know, I went to the film to make it larger than life. And when you're looking at an IMAX screen that's just, you know, massive, not in 3D, but just the IMAX, it's. Was it pretty breath, was life. it pretty breathtaking? I mean, they've done a really good job with the special effects with yes. Batman. All the other yes. Batmans leading up to this. Uh, this one again, Christian Bale is Batman. Yes, and they're bringing back Catwoman. Who's playing her? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Did you see scenes with both of them? I saw a quick, literally, snippet of Anne Hathaway, like, walk forward in full Catwoman regalia. But the majority of the scene was actually Bane, who's the supervillain, on the plane. And actually, a lot is coming to light right now because Tom Hardy is British hmm. um, and he has the Bane thing right. around his mouth. No one could understand him. Interesting. So we were all kind of sitting there going, are they going to fix this oh. in post-production? You know, you were watching it, and it was stunning. And the scenes and you, were great, and the choreography was great. It. But you were like, what did he say? Like, did I miss it? Filmmakers, listen to Alexander Cheney right here. She's telling you how to fix the film before it comes out in July. Is that in right? In July 2012.